Hey y'all baddies, so we back again with another braid down tutorial. In today's video, this one is going to be for a closure. So when anything happen to do with a closure, a closure wig, closure sewing, what happened, this braid pattern will be good for that. So you just want to start off by sectioning your client's hair. So she will be getting a middle part. So if you're doing the middle, part the hair in the middle. If you're doing a side, do it to the side. And if you are doing a side um, braid pattern, this thing, um, the same foundation does apply but if y'all do want a separate one just for specifically a side part of a closure i definitely do a braid pattern for that one too so the first step you're going to want to do after you done section out your hair into a middle part you want to do your anchor braid so in the anchor braid especially with the closure you're going to have an anchor braid around the perimeter as such i do like to use braiding hair at the moment in this particular time i didn't have braiding hair but definitely use braiding hair so I'm going to just go ahead and braid that down and then I'm going to also um, part the hair on the sides and then braid that going down too. And make sure when you're doing it to the sides, you're not, you're checking out how much hair you're setting it out so that you're not having, the braids ain't going to be big and bulky. Remember, these are anchor braids, so they should uh, like really be the kind of the smallest braids. You don't want them too small, but you want them small enough. So if you were to sew on them, you'll be able to sew on them and they're not bulky and whatever. And it's on the side of the head and you want it to still be flat. If you was to do it somewhere, you want your braids flat and not bulky. So everything would just be seamless and real flat. So what you do on one side, you definitely finna do on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do the left side of her head and section out to do the same thing. Anchor braids are definitely essential because if you, you know, you definitely want to conserve, preserve edges. That's step one while we're doing anchor braids, okay? Period. You want to protect the edges at all costs and you don't have to grip them totally tight. You know, still be soft on the on the hairline, but you also have great anchor braids. So, to protect your hair, of course, for it to grow and if you want to sew your closure down, if you was doing a closure sewing, this would be where you would um, be sewing the front down of the closure. So, you want them to be intact. And then also, you want to make sure you do a braid in the back of the head y'all see me checking out to make sure i wasn't in camera's view because when i do this sometimes and i'm trying to record i'll be forgetting shit i'm recording excuse me so i'll be forgetting i'm recording so sometimes i'll be standing in front of the camera then i end up having to cut certain parts out because you can't see but now you want to just connect the anchor braids and y'all know the goal is to have one ending braid at the end so once I went ahead and connect them, you know, you would just unravel a little bit. So then you're able to intertwine. You want to make sure your middle part is still in the middle. So every time you do a section or a row, make sure you're going back to make sure that hair is still in the middle. Because if you're pulling too much tension while you are braiding, your line is going to get creaked. So with practice um, and, you know, repetition, you're going to perfect this. But when you're braiding down, make sure that when you're braiding, you're keeping the tension at a, at a level that it is like whatever level you on keep it that braid on that level don't be pulling real real tight and pulling down because that's when the line's gonna be crooked and you're gonna be you know um making the tension on your client's scalp too tight you don't got to be tight so i don't really know how to explain that too much well but while you're braiding make sure that you're braiding at whatever level the braid is at don't be pulling the hair down and being so extra tight because that ain't necessary and then you also don't want to mess up the middle part so or whatever part you got your side part too but careful so depending on how tight you going is going to depend on um how well or how straight your middle part really is going to be at the end of the day so i wasn't able to show you how to twine the perimeter braid because the clip just ugh, ain't make it but just y'all know how I like the interlock. So we have one in the braid. So as you're braiding down, you just bring it up, stick it in, keep braiding down. So once I did about five braids, I'm showing y'all the method right now. Y'all see, I just picked it up. I was halfway. Don't wait too much on the bottom. And remember, I told y'all that when you are braiding and adding, connecting the hair, depending on the length of the hair is going to depend on when you need to connect them intertwine them loop it up so the longer the hair the top of the braid you're going to intertwine the hair the shorter the hair the more at the bottom you're going to intertwine the hair medium length more towards the middle of the hair that you're going to intertwine as you see i'm doing right here so like i was saying before i already did only like five braids until i got to the base of the back of the head then now i'm just going to do some cornrows going back so you're going to have the ones in the front going downwards 
going down to the back and then the ones at the back just going straight back so that is the braid pattern for today and just making sure that um when you're parting everything is reaching to the nape area the first braids which the first braids not being the anchor braids they won't reach all the way to the end they're gonna reach to the end but they ain't gonna be at low low in the nape but as you're gradually keep going making sure all of your sectioning is going all the way down to the nape area so that your braid pattern won't be all up and down up and down because you ain't your session it's just start off with the section of the head really your session is gonna determine how your braid is gonna be so once you finish braiding everything y'all know this is my infamous favorite shot at the deal grow I love this oil. I use it. It definitely works. You should too. This ain't sponsored, but when a product good, it's just good. So you want to go ahead and oil the scalp. This probably like the best part. It'd be nice and cold after a nice beret down. Like you just overlives and you know your health and get some moisture and some oil. It's going to grow ice in these braids, which is a plus. So oil the scalp. And I don't really like putting too much of oil in the hairline because, you know, it won't stick with the cap. Make sure you do the back. But I just wanted to show you guys what you will do for the ending braid. So this technique is perfect for glueless closure wigs. So if you want a glueless closure wig, you just take a bobby pin, bobby pin it up. This one will be sewing it perfect for a closure sewing because when you're doing a sewing, you don't want this braid all over the place sticking out. So you definitely want to sew it down so that... It's hidden out the way. The bobby pin one is good for you just throwing a wig on. Simple, call it a day. And then we have one last technique. Y'all, I'm out of breath. I hope y'all can hear me. I don't even know why I'm out of breath because I be talking so fast, child. But yeah, so boom. Um, go ahead and knock that up. And that will be good for a closure sewing. You just start sewing your tracks or you sew your net on, then your tracks, whatever how you do sis. And then the third way is this is perfect for glue down closure wigs or sewing. No need to put any bobby pin or nothing like that because you know, the cap covering it is protecting it. It ain't gonna be, it, it's no nothing necessary. So this is the final look at a braid pattern. Um, If you look real, real hard in the middle, you will see it went a little bit to the right but it's nothing a big deal it still was perfectly fine it's still pretty much straight you know towards the back it just went over just a tiny bit but the front as long as that's straight baby you good so if you guys have any comments questions or concerns you already know did go ahead put that down below